Hello, this is jQuery tutorial uh, number nine, uh, but part three on animations. Now we're going to continue where we left off last time, where we have, uh, right now if we click this, it moves, resizes, and dims out the opacity of this element. Let's go up here. I'm going to remove the line that changes the opacity so it stays the same opacity all the way throughout, just because that's what I want to do. And um, right now we have where it is animating to a absolute uh, a set position and size. So right now we're setting it uh, whatever size the height is to begin with, and we're going to either add or subtract till it gets to a certain height, width, and position on the screen. But let's say we wanted to set it so instead of absolute, it sets it relative to what it already is. Um, so we're moving 250 pixels here from the left side of the screen. Real quick, I'm going to change this to 130 for the height. Um, so we click it once. Let me uh, save this, refresh this. We click it once, click it again, nothing happens because it's already set to these values. But we can set it to continuously add to those values. So instead of 250, let's change this to just 50. So real quick, we'll save that and run that. Refresh over here, click this. So it moved just a little bit. Once again, it moves just a little bit. What we're going to do now is we're going to set this. Instead of just a set number of 50, we're going to say plus equals, meaning each time we click this button, it's not going to move 50 pixels from the left. It's going to move 50 pixels from where it currently is. It's going to find the left of our element, which may start off at zero, but add 50 to it. So let's save this, refresh over here, and we're going to click, click me. Okay, it moved and resized. Now note that our height and width don't have the plus equal sign, which means they're set to what they're already going to be at. But if I click this again, it moves 50 more pixels. Click it again, it moves 50 more pixels. Click it again, it moves 50 more pixels. And click it again, it moves 50 more pixels. Now we can do the same thing with the height and width if we wanted. I can just, uh, I'll just do height as an example. I'll say uh, plus equals. And I'll just have it grow, I'll say 25 pixels each time it's clicked. So we'll save that, refresh this. When I click, okay, the width grew the first time to a set preset number of 150 pixels. The height increased from whatever it was at to 25 pixels more. If we, and it moved from where it was at to 50 pixels more to the right. Uh, it's, it, from the left side of the screen. If I say left, I mean from the left side of the screen. So I'll click this, and you can see it continuously will move to the left, move from the left, and grow. Um, but it's only growing in height because the width is already set to a preset number, which it is already at. And it will continuously do that till until I stop clicking, or I'm sure there's a maximum at a point where your website's probably going to crash, uh, but it probably is a pretty high number, so we could probably click this all day. You can see the scroll bars growing. Uh, oops, still going. I clicked it a bunch. It's still, okay, it's done now. <laughs> so you can see we made it grow and moved to the left a whole bunch. So this is... Uh, just adding on to what we learned last time, uh, be sure to watch previous videos, be sure to watch the entire playlist on jQuery here, uh, and uh, this time just instead of moving to an absolute preset position of a certain pixels or size of a certain pixels, we are just adding to whatever it already currently uh, is valued at. So I hope that makes sense, and I hope you enjoy these tutorials. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. As always, if you like this topic, be sure to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, also, uh, you know, subscribe so you don't miss any videos. Visit my site or my YouTube channel, um, and uh, you can find a lot of tutorials uh, on other subjects other than uh, jQuery there. I've been doing videos for a while. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.